Okay, so just want to show you the challenge of our current design of our offshore harnesses without a sit harness. And I've even got, as you can see here, So, just want to show you the challenge that we have for single-handed self-rescue man overboard with the current design of offshore harnesses. Um, and I've even got, you know, this diaper strap uh, to prevent it from going over my shoulders, as you can see here. But watch what happens if I'm being dragged, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna put these here for now. But let's just say, yeah, I'm being dragged and I gotta climb back up into the boat. Um, this thing is almost, you know, unusable. Like this thing, and if it's inflated, it's even worse. Um, you know, uh, you know, let me, uh, I'll try tightening, you know, tightening, tightening it up a bit. Which will probably help, but, uh, okay, so, yeah, I, I mean, it helps. But uh, this is this is still bordering on ridiculous. Um, you know, offshore harness. Okay, yeah. Like, just watch what happens here. Um, uh, I've got no room. Like, okay, you know, it's really uncomfortable. It actually hurts. You know, is it doable? Uh, okay. Uh, now I gotta get my foot in there. Okay, I'm getting my foot in. And. Yeah. I guess. I guess it's doable. But, uh. Really a struggle. Uh. And I would say. Yeah, massively, massively difficult to uh, even, even you know, with my diaper, you know, my diaper slang, maybe I could shorten that. Um, but I think for self-rescue, I think we got to wear a climbing harness. This will be for flotation. Uh, Flotation only, but you know, uh, you know, could I? You know, the problem is, like this, you know, this this diaper sling here. It's not excessively loose, like it's you know to you know to be moving around on the boat and whatnot, like. Uh, I don't know if I'd want it anymore any tighter than that, uh, you know, quite frankly. So, I think we got to wear the offshore tether, you know, for float, you know, for fl flotation. But I think I want to add, I want to add the climbing harness here. For those, if there's a, you know, if you get into conditions where, where uh, there's a real chance of going overboard, and you're going to have to attempt to self-rescue, you know, using this technique, this is going to be a, pardon my French, but it's going to be a bitch. Um, you saw with the climbing harness, it was doable, it was achievable, it was comfortable. This would be 
very challenging. I think, especially for uh, for those inclined for single handing, um, we've got to do a better job of this. And I think we've got to, you know, add the climbing harness to the setup. You got the gear, and you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have to have the greedy. You're gonna have to have these with you. Um, which, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but you know what? Would you would you rather have a this pain in the ass or be dead? Those are the questions we got to answer for ourselves. For me, I think I'm gonna start doing this, especially if conditions are rough and I'm single-handed, offshore, or, or even even locally, in, you know, inter-island. I can be back in the boat in under 60 seconds. I, it could save my life, and it could save my boat from hitting land, if you will, you know, a $30,000 wreck. Uh, so, that's all for now. See you next time.